everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about getting organized before your school year, or maybe you've started school, but you're worried about organization. You just don't feel the most organized, whatever the case, if you're in school, this will really help with your organization. I wish I had things like this when I was in school, because when your digital space is cluttered up, don't you feel like you can't get anything done? Don't you feel like you're not getting done what you want to? I use this in my own life. So personal life, my tutoring, like teaching courses for my mobile dental patients, and that's Google Drive. So let me share my screen for you. Let's see. Sorry, this is not Google Drive. This is my Instagram page. I was just doing a video on it. So I'm sorry. Where's Google Drive? Here you go. Okay, so let me just <laughs> expand this a little bit, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is Google Drive, you guys. I highly recommend it. If you have a Gmail account, this is actually included. I was just introduced to Google Drive like last year and I'm amazed I didn't know about it before. Like I feel kind of silly. It was my fiance who's like, why aren't you using Google Drive? I think because I kept losing like paperwork, I kept losing files, just things weren't working. So what I want you guys to think of with Google Drive is it's like your own computer, but you don't have to save anything to your laptop. Like when you, you can save all of your files and folders onto Google Drive. And then when you go to need them, you just open them from there. So it's kind of like, like your laptop, your computer somewhere else. So you're not cluttering up your laptop or your computer. If you take a laptop to school, or maybe you take your tablet to school, well, you can just put everything on Google Drive. And one of the best things about it is that you can open it up from anywhere. So let's say I started a Google Doc, okay? I can open it right now from my computer. If I have Google Drive on my cell phone or Google Docs on my cell phone, I can open it from here on my tablet. So you don't have to be like, oh, I left that file at home, it's on my computer, or I left that file on my laptop, but I wanna show you on my cell phone, but I can't. Maybe I'll email it to myself, it just gets too confusing. So Google Drive all the way, you guys, check it out. No, they're not paying me to say this. This is just what I find would work so well as a student. So definitely check it out. Something else I want you guys to look into is Google Calendar. So you can manage your classes. You can change the different colors. In fact, let me show you that right now for you. So can you guys see the screen that I'm sharing? So I would share with you my calendar right now but I can't because there's people's personal information and names on there. But this is also a shareable calendar. So you can put in your different classes. Even if you have to go grocery shopping after school, you can put that in there. You can set tasks, you can set to-do lists. Really, really cool. And I love how you can change up the colors. I just knew about this. It might be a couple years or it might have been last year. I don't remember, but I just learned about this too. And it's the best thing ever. So you don't have to worry about getting an agenda or getting anything on paper or looking at another calendar by purchasing another one digitally. It's all right there for you. So I highly recommend checking this out too. Just little ways to get organized. I could talk to you guys about a hundred different ways to get organized, but the purpose of this video was to keep things simple for you. Um, when your laptop or computer or both are decluttered, don't you feel better? Like I said, you know what assignments are coming up. You can see them better. You don't lose things. So look into Google Drive. And then Google Calendar is, is really planning out your schedule. So planning out your tests, exams, assignments, projects, even free time. I schedule in my free time or my lunch breaks so I can kind of see how busy I really am and then try to plan around that. So good luck, you guys. Let me know if any questions. I kind of give these tips to all of my students. I'm a dental hygiene and dental assisting tutor for the board exam, so I help you pass the board exam. But before you get to writing the board exam, you have to pass your classes. You're in your college or university program passing your classes. So I try to make things easier in any way I possibly can. So good luck with that. Check them out. You don't have to pay anything for them. And let me know what you think, okay? Thank you guys for watching and bye for now.